everybody. This is Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck, back with another edition of Did You Know? In this video, we're going to look at MIDI and we're going to look at a feature called Stretch MIDI Notes. Uh, right now, if you look at my session view, I have two MIDI tracks, uh, both with some drums. This one has some drums from a drum rack kit called Carbonized, and this is from uh, a drum break that I sliced up. And if we play it, you can hear what I got going on so far. So, real simple pattern right now, okay? Uh, this is the sliced drums right here. And on this track, we have the carbonized kit. So let's focus our attention over here on this MIDI clip here, all right? Now, like I said, we're gonna look at a feature called stretch MIDI notes. And what this allows us to do is take a selected note or group of notes and we can stretch or shorten the duration. And uh, this is really interesting because it gives us a chance to add a lot of variation as well as some more unique timing uh, and kind of groove to our clips. So let's explore this, all right? I'm gonna play this again. Now in order to stretch any MIDI notes, I have to actually select some, okay? So for the sake of example, let's select this whole entire clip right now. And I'm gonna right click inside this clip here. So now if we look in this menu here, the bottom I see stretch notes, okay? This is gonna allow me to stretch the MIDI notes that I've selected, all right? So once I hit that, if you notice now, I have these little stretch markers here, okay? There's one there and there's one there. And like I said, this is gonna allow me to either stretch or shorten the duration of my MIDI notes. And this is almost like being able to warp uh, audio, okay? You can think of these almost as like warp markers. And if I take this last one, you'll notice, okay? So now I'm shortening the overall duration of those notes, but the notes are still the same relative distance apart from each other, okay? So we're actually able to stretch it, again, kind of like when we're stretching audio that's been warped, all right? And I have a marker up here as well, so I can grab this and do the same thing in the other direction, okay? Now, you might be thinking, as cool as that is, how can you really use that in a practical musical sense? Well, the interesting thing about this is that the only notes that are stretched are the ones that are highlighted. So you don't have to highlight or select every single note. If you wanted to maintain a sense of rhythmic timing, the one thing we probably don't want to mess with is the snare, right? So what I could do is go to my snare, all right? Everything's already highlighted. So since everything's already highlighted, I'm just gonna hold shift. And while I'm holding shift, I can click on the snare, which will deselect it, all right? So now if I right click, all right, stretch notes. Now if I select this, now I can move everything except the snare. And you notice I can stretch this and just catch the playhead. So I can stretch it so that the duration is very short and then make it longer so that it's playing the same notes repeatedly. Okay. Now, one more really cool application of this, okay, to take this whole concept a bit further is what we could do is we could record ourselves playing around with the stretched MIDI notes uh, in the arrangement view. And then we could take that clip and quantize it and bring it back into the session view, all right? Uh, and let me just show you how that works. We can end up with some really, really cool stuff here. So I'm gonna start recording into the arrangement view. And while this is recording, I'm just gonna start messing with the, the stretch markers here. Now all this is getting recorded to the arrangement view. Okay, so now we got a little bit. So I know that sounds kind of crazy, but check this out. We're gonna go over to the arrangement screen here. And if we look, this is what we've recorded. Okay, this is our track. And you notice every time that we stretch the MIDI notes, okay, it separated the clip, it made it a different clip. So what we can do now is we can just go in here and we can consolidate this entire thing, all right? 
I'm gonna select that last one, hold shift, select this one. I'm gonna right click, we're gonna go to consolidate, which will make all of those one MIDI clip. Now that we've done that, I could go into this clip and I could quantize it. Right click, go to my quantize settings, we'll quantize this for, let's say 16th notes. And just to maintain a little bit of the more kind of offbeat feeling, I'm not gonna quantize this 100%, we'll do this maybe 80%. And let's hit OK. And now I'm gonna copy this, Command C, hit Tab, and I'm gonna paste this right there. Okay, so now I've got my new clip. And as we get further along, we're gonna hear There we go. So we've been able to take that little loop and really add some variety to it and mess around with it simply by stretching the notes, recording it to the arrangement view, consolidating that clip, quantizing it, and bringing it back, okay? So now let's hear that with our other drums. So anyway, that's an example of how you stretch MIDI notes. And now you know. This has been Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck, signing off. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.